Okay, so today I wanted to do a little reading on uh, where I am in terms of food for the day. It's about 6.30 or maybe 7 in the evening. So I kind of have a feel for how things are shaking out today. I'm working um, kind of tied to my desk, which is the most challenging situation in terms of food. I did get up after a really good night's sleep. I slept really well last night from being on the open water yesterday on the boat. And um, at about, after I meditated at midnight, I just went to sleep. I didn't have much choice in the issue. I was gonna go back and go work all night, which very often I do, but because of being in the fresh air with the sun, it was just, I was just out and I just slept straight through to about nine. I, I woke up and I thought it was seven, but my clock was wrong. So it was actually nine. I got up, I meditated, and then I actually decided to, you know, run or fast walk for 20 minutes on the treadmill. I did my yoga, I biked to the rec center, I wanted to, what did I want to do? I wanted to take a shower, clean up, did that, and then I biked back. I stopped at the tanning salon, but they were closed for the 5th of July. They took a long weekend. Can't hardly blame them. Most people are going to be out in the sun over the week, the real sun, not the pig sun. And um, so then I came home, and I felt better. That was the main thing, was I wanted to do all that exercise just to get my, kind of raise my vibration. And I did that. But it didn't help much with the food. Now, I did not binge, and I didn't eat heavy food, but I snacked all day long, especially drinking a lot of beverages. None of them were really high calorie. A little sugar in the coffee or tea, I can't remember. Um, kombucha, mm, 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 maybe not enough. Oh I, oh, I woke up and had water this morning, too. I had like four eight-ounce glasses of water. And then I meditated. So that's supposed to be some kind of Japanese cure for disease. It's like if you do that for a month, you wake up and you drink four eight ounce glasses of water without eating anything and wait for 40 minutes. It's supposed to cure every disease. Who knew? So I'm gonna try it. You know, when I wake up and I'm not hungry, I'll just drink water and then meditate and then continue to eat <laughs> all day long which is pretty much what I did. But like I say, it wasn't that bloated feeling. It wasn't the overeating, you know, more than I would want to because I'm chained to my desk. And it becomes the entertainment. In addition to, you know, all the nice TED Talks I listen to in the books and the, you know, all the podcasts. You know, I have great entertainment, you know, in terms of intellectual stimulation. But for some reason... You know, the snacking and the food entered the picture. I had some cookies. That's what kind of started me off. I went into the freezer and grabbed the cookies. And then I got the blackberry tart that I had made when I was on my French diet out of the freezer. And I'm unfreezing that for a little snacking, sweet snacking. I'm incorrigible with sweets, you know. But I knew this was gonna be a rough period. I knew it was gonna be a rough period. This is when I, you know, the potential for gaining the weight is sitting at my desk. And um, I was talking to somebody at the rec center and she asked me if I was still on my juice fast and I said, no, I'm eating now. And I said, I'm still doing the YouTube videos because this is, you know, still a very challenging period. It's one thing to take the weight off, it's another thing to keep the weight off. And she said, she thought this was even more challenging, and she has a really good point. Now, this is someone who is naturally very thin. She's in the um, steam room, not steam room, the sauna a lot. She's very naturally thin. And, um, you know, I had quoted the uh, maxim that 95% of people who lose weight gain it back again, and I said, I need to Google that and see if that's really accurate, and I did. And apparently that was from a study in the 50s of only 100 people. And it wasn't like a lot of um, information. And apparently that's probably not the case. You know, that more people do keep weight off over longer periods of time than that. It's not, you don't have a 5% chance of success, which is good. 
But even if I had a 5% chance, as long as it's not a 0% chance, you know, that almost impels me to beat the odds. It's, you know, you want, if you want, if you're going to be a statistic, be on the good side of the statistics, you know, why not? Are you going to let the odds get you down, you know, just because you don't have a good chance or even much of a chance, you got a chance, you know, and it's, what else are you going to do? You know, you might as well beat the odds and um, get what you want in life, you know, what you really want, you know, what you really intend. So I'm stuck at my desk. I'm going to go back to work, see how I do tonight, you know, and I try to drink a lot of fluids. I went to, out to get some water. I want to make some coffee and maybe I'll have some iced coffee, you know, put a little non-fat milk in it, you know, and um, just sip on that as a stimulant, something to keep me peppy, peppy la pew. And, um, you know, just keep at it as long as I don't totally cave. And I'm listening to a lot of inspirational talks about how to, you know, meet your goals, you know, different little mental tricks you can have. And some of them are actually very helpful to listen to. They don't give you the solution, but they kind of give you a different, you know, maybe uh, inspiration or a different slant on a way to look at something. And, um, you know, hopefully I will, uh, you know, do as <laughs> well as I'm going to do. <laughs> and, and checking in like this does help me because it, it keeps me accountable even at, in failure or in lack of quote unquote success to my highest aspirations. But it at least keeps me in a range of accountability and um, it's very important. You know, it doesn't seem important, but it, it really is. And when you look, you look around, and especially when I'm at like the local grocery store and you look around to the results of food and people who are literally imprisoned in their bodies, man, that didn't happen overnight, you know, and it has to do with a lack of awareness, lack of paying attention. And, um, you know, so at least I can pay attention, you know, have some goals and pay attention. So thanks for listening.